Hi, it's Andrew Beach, teacher of self-education, helping professionals like you communicate value so you can find great opportunities faster, whether you're working or not. That's through a pragmatic process of branding, planning, and effective networking to help you realize your professional potential. This is a continuation of our series on Lazy Apply. This is a tool I became aware of through AppSumo, and we are going to establish today what this will look like uh, by putting in our resume and connecting these platforms with Indeed and LinkedIn. So really we're looking just to establish a connection between the platform that we're on and the tools through which we will apply. So you can see here on the screen two boxes, one that includes LinkedIn and one that includes Indeed. So I'm just going to click Start Applying. And you notice here, resume not completed. It takes me right to the resume page. And you'll see that over here on the left-hand side, you have home, edit resume. It'll be the second one down. And so I need to enter here. Um, I need to enter here not only my information that you see here, uh, much like you would in an applicant tracking system. I also need to upload a, a paper copy or a PDF or a, a, a Word doc to LinkedIn and Indeed. So I need to have accounts there and I need to actually upload a resume. So why don't we do that first? So I will click here first for LinkedIn uh, and it will looks like it will take us directly to LinkedIn and the place that we need to actually upload our resume. You can upload a doc, docx, or a PDF. So I will here upload a resume. There we go. And you can either delete or download. Uh, good. So there, okay, you can upload more than one, it looks like, but that's my executive development resume. So I will put that up here. Let's go back to Lazy Apply here and you'll see I need to fill in the information. So I'll fill in all these blanks here and then uh, I will come back. I filled out all of these sections that you see here on the resume page. And when you scroll down to the bottom, uh, you can submit resume. This is just a high level resume that you enter into their system. And then you can add additional information. So when I go in to change additional information, I can make some determinations. Often when you make an application, they're asking about your um, equal employment opportunity status. Uh, I put in a message to the hiring manager, a cover letter, and talked about some of my unique differentiators. And then I submitted those additional details to the program and it saved it and said success updated, right? So now I have a resume inside LinkedIn. I have a resume here. Now I'm going to start the same process with indeed.com by uploading first my resume. So let's click to upload the resume in indeed.com. As we see, Indeed will open up here. I'm logged in, you need to be logged in and then just click upload your resume. We will follow the exact same process. There we go, now it's uploading the document and I'll have that available, accessible to me. Yes, this looks right. Now that I have everything taken care of as far as LinkedIn and Indeed, I went in and customized those profiles, added my resume, put in some details on my skills. There's a whole process to go through that I won't share with you here today because many of you probably already have that set up, but if you would like me to show that, uh, please let me know in the comments below. So that's how you get started, uploading your resume, filling out the forms here on Lazy Apply. Um, creating profiles and uploading your resumes to the different platforms Indeed and LinkedIn. In the next series, we'll actually do a preliminary search for jobs and make the application process and uh, stay tuned. So uh, there are links down below if you want to take advantage of Lazy Apply. It's accessible now through AppSumo. That is an affiliate link. And if you want to join along with us or you have any questions, by all means, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. See you on the next video.